fingers crossed. Nice. There we are. There we are. Excellent. Excellent. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is February 19th, 2023. And I had my fingers crossed because uh, we had technical difficulties uh, uh, yesterday during the stream. So I had to cancel the stream. Uh, I updated OBS and the drivers were out of date. And uh, after a little search, found out that uh, NVIDIA stopped updating the drivers for the graphics card I had in the computer and uh, finished doing how are you doing and uh, ended up having to cancel the stream and uh, basically last night I spent uh, last night and this morning a little bit I uploaded uh, OBS on the new computer and we put out a video on the new computer when we bought it it was during the summer or something like this I can't remember a few months ago Owen D N TN, what's up, Chicho? Hope you're good, man. I'm good now. We're, we're able to live stream. Lark Bark, salutations, salutations. Mr. Brain Freeze, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so I spent last night um, getting it to a level where we got confirmation that I could stream from this computer. Uh, OBS was working, and this morning I set up a couple of stuff. Uh, sort of been, <laughs> my fingers crossed that it would work out okay. Uh, so... Uh, some of the features we don't have uh, layers once you work on a computer for a while you build a few different layers <laughs> you're like damn i'm gonna take care of this gotta take care of this uh, so we're up and running fantastic finished dude i'm doing good just got home from building my new studio nice how are you doing awesome man awesome so you got the soundproof stuff because i think you're doing music no you got those what do they call them the the foamy stuff that's triangular or pyramid, I guess, uh, on the walls. Super cool. Yeah, nice, 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 man, nice. And gang, uh, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publishing journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or, or julian assange on wikileaks playlist on censor tube mc mike how are you doing holy moly i caught a chicho live stream first one in forever what's going on chicho universe awesome awesome doing good doing good we're back up we're back up oh they're called finished dude they're called acoustic panela Oh, panels. <laughs> you, know, you corrected it. I'm called panelas. <laughs> Acoustic panels. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Awesome. Pond Dog 2. Good morning from Philippines. Salutations, brother. Hope you're doing well. This is one flat earth behind you. <laughs> it's still round, though. <laughs> it might not be spherical. If you wanted to see, see the spherical, they open up down here the thing that you see down here that's the earth if it was on a sphere right and you open this up and that gives expands africa right because africa is way bigger than what it looks like on here right it's way bigger than what it looks like on here like africa you can fit india you can fit china you could fit kazakhstan you could fit mongolia you could fit united states there's a map that, that shows how many countries you could fit you could fit all of germany you could fit all of france like it's huge right and on a sphere once you open up the sphere it on here you could see it it's super cool super cool uh free julian assange Jalan, how are you doing? Good afternoon, Chicho. I have been waiting for you. I just became a father and the hospital sucks. <laughs> what? You just became a father? Not like in the last few days? And congratulations, boy or girl. What's his or her name? Cheryl, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Oh, look, God. finally a stream on Stop by the Machines. <laughs> hilarious she know hello hello greetings from mexico salutations buenas tardes buenas tardes cheryl whoa congratulations yeah seriously uh, uh, Jalen, uh 
da, 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 da. hold on who became a father not Jalen became a father yeah Jalen became a father <laughs> uh, Will's Jalen thanks Cheryl Jalen says yes I have a baby boy and his name is uh, jo Jonassis Jonassis Honassis oh, is, how do you pronounce it with an H Jonassis or Honassis awesome congratulations congratulations <laughs> romantic walks kfc boy or girl did you just assume the baby's gender kidding kidding he says or she says greetings from mexico um kfc ever i'm gonna say romantic walks that's better than kfc romantic walks ever notice when someone goes against the narrative they're suddenly accused of uh, yeah, sexual sins from like 10 years ago, from like 50 years ago. <laughs> They're going back to people's, um, what do you call it, tween, tween periods. When they were a tween or pre-tween, they did this. What? To ruin their reputation, yeah. And that's a thing. People assume that people don't change over time because maybe the people who are assuming that don't change over time. They live in a bubble echo chamber and that echo chamber rings in their ear for years and decades until there's nothing left between their two years and that's all they know right Cheryl Chicho did you ever talk about the different map uh, projection no no we haven't talked about it we haven't talked about it that would be amazing to do a math stream on I would do have to do some research on it again uh, because I've looked into this before but that was decades ago decades ago super cool though super cool right brazil is way bigger too yeah where are we brazil is way bigger too right basically the way it works the countries closer to the equator the more you are here it becomes bigger when you open it up <laughs> right russia is huge no matter what russia is huge russia is gigantic. i think how many time zones how many time zones let's see russia so you got one time zone two time zone three time zone four time zone five time zone six times zone uh, here's the here's the i got my back against you guys sorry but here, here's the time zone going there and that's the connection here right so that comes up here so I'm guessing it's either six or six and a half. I don't think it's hidden seven, right? Uh, living in the middle of all the orange feels nice, <laughs> does it, Mr. Freeze? I'd be concerned. I would rather be living. Uh, I don't know if I want to be living here or not, but it looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Blue is good. Blue is peace, right? But it could get hot fast, right? It could get hot fast. Nagushka, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how's it going? I'm going to listen while making lunch. Awesome. I hope we have a fantastic lunch. Jonas, Jonas, sis. Jonasis, Jonasis. Honas, Jonasis, Jonasis. Jonasis, Jonasis. Jalan, yeah? Jonasis. Congrats on the baby. Porqua says, hello, Porqua. I hope you're doing well. KFC. They do chicken right. <laughs> is that chicken really? <laughs> I don't know. A friend of mine in high school uh, worked at KFC, uh, or right after high school. I can't remember. I think it was right after high school. He worked at KFC uh, in the kitchen, and he turned to me after working there a couple of weeks. He said, uh, "Chicho, never eat KFC." I go, "What do you mean? It tastes delicious." He goes, "Don't eat KFC. I work there." I go why he goes dude just trust me never eat kfc I go, okay and i never ate kfc again hey chicho how's it going lions how are you doing hope you're doing well flat earth is that the earth is a hot not shape someone says gamer jim gamer jane gamer jame jame game jame anytime you feel dumb remember that there are rage uh against the machine fans out there who believe the machine they were raging against was government imposing too many taxes and regulations on capital and the rich 
And then they signed up to get lined up to boop, boop, take it up the chute, right? That's what I saw, isn't it? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, funny. Give me a ciggy. Hope you're doing well. I, IG. Look at the, I, G, look at, look at. That should be something. I don't know what your how to pronounce your name. There's a channel here on Twitch broadcasting flat earth videos 24-7. Usually empty, but sometimes you can find some flat earth 24-7. That's a lot of discussion about a flat piece of, I mean, sphere. It's more complicated. You could definitely talk about a sphere for maybe, I don't know if you could talk about a sphere for 24-7. We talked a little bit about a plate tectonics and stuff like this. but I don't know, to each their own, I guess, to each their own. Joe nasus jonasus thanks jalan <laughs> you have to lay it out for me jonasus jonasus awesome congrats on the baby boy congrats on the baby boy uh isn't kfc how we uh verify <laughs> hilarious is it am i missing something man lions you can't be kfc and and the gravy there oh my god oh my god by the way the first time i ate kentucky fried chicken kfc the first time I saw KFC, okay, the first time I saw KFC, I was, I don't know, seven, eight years old in Iran. I had a really close friend that they moved to another town, like a small, not a town, sort of complex. And I went to visit him. And uh, there was a Kentucky Fried Chicken there. KFC there and I was like, what's this? <laughs> he goes, it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. I go, what the hell is that? And he goes, it's chicken from the United States. <laughs> okay. Mom, mom, dad, get us some chicken from the United States. We got it and it was fantastic as a kid. <laughs> wow, what is this chicken from the United States? <laughs> from Kentucky? Where is Kentucky? Who is this Colonel Sanders dude? like crazy and there was uh, no mcdonald's or burger king in iran at the time right only kfc not that i saw anyway no no uh, that i that i came across uh, lions not doing great chicho oh no tore my hip oh a doctor in football training today ouch ouch hopefully you don't need if you tore it do you need surgery ouch tearing is not good uh hopefully it didn't pop from uh, it didn't tear from the ligament uh right i think that's the worst one if the ligament breaks from the bone maybe or ligament breaks from the muscle one of the two is is, worse, is bad oh, sorry to hear that man i stopped playing a football once i realized the injuries were not going to be <laughs> as easily to overcome so in my mid 20s i stopped because uh, we used to go pretty hard uh late 20s maybe yeah late 20s i think kfc and chicken in the same sentence is hilarious kfc and chicken in the same sentence is hilarious how the god says gamer playing for two-factor authentication is a nice metaphor for the way uh for the way security privacy and safety are too often um uh, privileges for the wealthy and denied to the poor oh igloo kid oh igloo kid of course i'm like i could i should be able to read that but i couldn't read it i kept on focus on the look igloo kid awesome name salutations and welcome to our live stream crafter hello hello warm and loose how are you doing Shino Shicho, I know the stream isn't about finance, but I wanted to hear your opinion about crypto. I want to buy a few blue chips a few weeks ago and they pulled like crazy. Uh, I'm sure if it's good move to buy now. Oh, difficult. When it was when Bitcoin was around, what was it 17,000, 16,000? I sort of mentioned that it might have been, you know probably a good time to get a small percentage of your full stake you want to get in um that was like a month ago or so um right now bitcoin is sitting around twenty four thousand, if i'm not mistaken 24 24 and a half it 
could go either way it could go either way it's already popped 30 percent 40 percent right um Ah, 25 percent it's already popped 25 percent might kick it up to 40 percent or so uh, but there are things in play um, if i had bought at 16 would i sell right now that's that that would be my question uh maybe a small position but i would go on for the ride since you got in early earlier or lower uh, but i would put stop losses in there a difficult you know difficult difficult okay depends on what's going on here and there's a lot going on here and a lot going on here okay uh give me a second i swear your life stories are very enjoyable <laughs> chaos uh, gamer i love how instead of making incent intent incentivizing features exclusively for twitter blue alan instead uh, just takes away normal features and locks them behind the paywall. <laughs> Isn't that what the whole uh, socialism, communism thing is? Uh, if everybody's, what is it? If everybody's special, no one's special. And if anybody thinks they're special than someone else, we kick them down a few notches, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Or let's say totalitarian socialism because social socialism could have multiple meanings right uh, bom, da, da, da. Cheryl I just saw that all quiet won seven uh, BAFTAs including best film cool and you have you guys gang have you guys watched uh, all quiet in the western front not a bad movie pretty good movie okay uh, and I posted a link to an animation Cheryl saw it in the film cat uh, section that we have on Gilded and uh, since we're talking about world politics uh, where's my Gilded Boink. I posted um, in film in light topics posted a link to an animation that I came across like 15 17 years ago early days of streaming or video online amazing animation and it basically defines what war is right defines what war is uh, it's the animation is called fallen art okay fallen art you can find it on vimeo uh the vimeo one is from like 13 years ago i'm not sure i don't think it came out 13 years ago it came out in mid 2000s 2005 2006 2007 maybe right or 2008 around there um brilliant animation of what war is really about okay and all quiet in the western front the beginning sequence no spoilers the beginning sequence as soon as it started happening it reminded me of that animation okay um, and i won't talk about the rest of the movie because it's a good movie well worth it uh, i think uh trauma wise uh, like in, in terms of emotional devastation i think come and see the russian war movie is still uh more profound uh i think I, I don't think uh johnny's got a gun was pretty intense um the black and white movie johnny's i think that's the movie is called johnny's got a gun where he goes to war and he's laid down no sensation no no spoilers um that was extremely powerful intense as well as uh um stanley kubrick's movie all choir on the western no all, not all quiet uh oh crap i always forget uh what's that this black and white movie with george c scott black and white movie with george c scott uh, wrath uh, paths of G glory i think path of glory is infuriating yeah path thank you very much crafter path paths of glory is infuriating okay johnny's got a gun is psychological devastation okay devast psychological devastation uh, all choir nervous western front is has a very much political underpin to it okay showing the true absurdity of war and uh, in large part plays with the propaganda and stuff like this i think come and see is a must watch for every human being on this planet come and see is a must watch multiple times for every human being on this planet because it encompasses 
all of that, but just takes it down to the raw bones of what war is. And once you watch, come and see, actually sit down and watch it and watch it by yourself. Don't talk to anyone else. Just immerse yourself in that movie. You will not be the same person uh, after viewing it a couple of times. Okay. Uh, and All Quiet on the Western Front has that feel to it as well. Has that feel to it as well. Okay. What was Blue Collar Gang? So Blue Gang, uh, I'm sorry, I missed a little bit chat. So this is our legend. Blue is places that are in peace right now, or I don't say places that are at, there's no war or conflict right now. I would say places that are not supporting act of war right now. India is sort of a funny situation because in the north, it's pretty much a civil war going on right there, right? A lot of it to do with water, all right? But in the south, is quite peaceful. Sri Lanka is yellow is civil war, right? So blue is not supporting war or peace, I guess. Uh, yellow is civil war. Orange is actively supporting warfare. Some of these could be categorized as red as well. And red is hot war. We're countries that are involved in hot war. And again, we have conflicting opinions between Russia, between the United States, if they're hot, if they're just supporting what's going on, right? Da, 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 da. Uh, Mr. Brain Freeze, Chicho, did you... Uh, did, did you see read the comment of the German foreign minister saying they can't work with Putin until he changes 360 degrees? <laughs> did, did, did he or she say 360 degrees? They need to take some Chicho math math lessons. What a bunch of morons! What a bunch of morons! Absolutely, uh, Elga. I have seen all the versions of All Quiet. Uh, except this Disney one. Uh, Elder God, watch it. I think this is the best version. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen at least one of the other versions. Or I saw a black and white version. Uh, I don't think I've seen a color version. I've seen a black and white version of the Quiet on the Western Front. I haven't seen a color version. This was superior to the black and white, if I recall correctly. Uh, right? 18. My parents were um, economic war refugees from ex-Yugoslavia. Yeah. From uh, which uh, which area? Yeah, it's, everyone was the same, just different. It's crazy. That Yugoslavia war is insane. Um, Crafter, Pass of Glory is one of my favorite movies ever. Always crying uh, for minutes at the end. Yeah, yeah. Very infuriating. It, infuriating. And All Quiet and Western Front has this in it as well, right? Z Rucksack. Hello, Chicho. I have not visited your stream in a very long time, and I'm glad to be back as you you are my favorite bearded streamer. Also, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> What's gonna happen if I shave this? I'll grow it right back again, I think. All right, pawn. Need a rainbow flag on Western countries to actually engage in war on the family. I actually engage. They, I mean, if we if we we're gonna uh, have another color representing governments that are waging war on their own citizens all the western countries would be part of that governments waging war on their own citizens right so that would be in large part a civil war but a civil war in our definition of what's going on right now is different factions fighting among each other within trying to vie for control in a country right what's the word when a government wages wars on its citizens so we're talking about the institutions, right? The oligarchs, the corporations waging war on their citizens. Do we have a word for that? Because that's not a civil war. That's not different factions within a country vying for control. These are institutions trampling on their citizens, right? Like Canada, it's very much, very much the government of Canada, right? has been waging war on a huge portion of its population, right? So what do we call that? That's not a civil war, right? It, it, it'd be interesting. Uh, Lions, Chicho, considering, uh, cons uh, Chicho considering shaving, the world truly is upside down. 
I have done it before. I got two videos out there. Full beer taken down, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Eldin, you're Young Polax, by the way. Changed my name a couple of months ago. Okay, Young Polax. I got to remember that. So, Dean. Adin. 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 Welcome back with a new name. Uh, John and Chicho, what's up with all the chemical spills everywhere? And how do you feel about the officials not giving a rat's ass, let's say, uh, such as Ohio? Or I forgot his name, uh, but dude literally said, quote, if I was there, I would drink the wa uh, raw water. Yeah, isn't that the same type of crap that Obama pulled in, um, um, what do you call it, in Michigan? In uh, Oh, I can't believe I forgot the... A Flint, Michigan, right? When he went up on the stand and said, I'll drink the water. The whole citizens, Enzo, thank you very much for the follow. Everybody there in the town hall meeting booed him, right? They were disgusted by this clown standing on a podium while people are drinking polluted, you know, they're being forced to drink polluted, polluted water coming into their homes, right? Just imagine when your tap water is polluted right you can't just go buy water to take showers with you need to take a shower with to clean with to wash clothes with to wash your food fruits and vegetables and stuff make tea make anything right you're gonna how, how much water are you gonna go through uh that you have to buy and everyone couldn't afford it poisonous water guaranteed poison like people's life expectancy dropped and drank that poison right this obama clown standing on a podium telling people yeah i'll drink the water and someone comes from the back with clean glass of water walks down the hall and people are booing him i saw an interview of a of a black lady like a grandmother saying i thought obama was my president when he pulled that stunt i realized he was my enemy right paraphrasing but pretty pretty damn close right that's who that clown was and you have another clown saying i'll drink the water which water are you going to drink are those people like right now here's the thing since we're talking geology we got the map out right here i've done a lot of work with groundwater contamination by the way tremendous amount of work in the 90s i mapped out groundwater contamination plumes and stuff right so we would go to areas right and have geophysical equipment out there a lot of electromagnetics because contaminants have ions free floating ions and they have a charge so when you use electromagnetic methods em methods right what that does you have a transmitter and a receiver and the pulse the transmitter sends a signal into the ground and if there are ions free free floating ions in the ground as we talked about with the earth's magnetic field if you have ions right then if you send a magnetic field through it right electromagnetic field through it it will respond right so what you do you zero the instruments when there is nothing right you, you get it back from the factory or you buy brand new and you have to go somewhere zero right and then you go through and you map out contaminants plumes right so that's the way you can find contamination in the ground if it's coming from one source right but if all the whole area is contaminated is very hard to get a background uh reading to zero the instrument right that's one thing that you you have to keep in mind the other thing you have to keep in mind is the earth the earth let's do green the earth actually let's do blue no 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 let's do green so check this out so we're here's the earth are we are we doing a little the diversion again we need something bigger let's do this Apologies if I'm not reading the chat. Just might as well talk about this, right? So here's the surface of the earth, right? That's the surface of the earth. This is us, right? Here's the explosion, right? And this thing goes up to the stratosphere. It spreads over hundreds of kilometers, right? So on the earth here, you have water. Water. Let's assume this is a water body, river, lake, or something, right? We'll put little things on it so there's water there, right? Liam, thank you very much for the follow. You got cattle, 
right? You got little cows, little livestock eating grass, right? Eating grass. Okay. What else do we have here? We got fruit trees, right? We got fruit trees. We got crops, right? We got crops. From what I understand, in Ohio and the surrounding region, there's lots of corn and soya being grown, right? And corn and soya are used in everything, right? All of this plume covering, 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 and huge chunks of Canada. So we're talking, this is, this might as well do this, right? Let's do, let's bring out one of these guys. Map it out. Let's map out this Ohio thing. Yeah. Because this is war on humanity, right? This is war on humanity. All right. Put some curve on that drawing. <laughs> Just, I have no idea what you mean. So here's Ohio, right? Here's Ohio. We're this. This is the contamination, right? This is a contamination, right? Do I have that right approximately? Approximately, right? Because parts of it went up to Montreal and stuff, right? The plume. And this is gonna, this is gonna disperse, right? It's gonna disperse. It's not just this. This is the main zone, right? What are stickers in Germany? Uh, Germany, Germany should have its own little sticker saying complete the industrialization and collapse of Germany. That's what we're witnessing right now, right? Almost on the same level as Ukraine, right? But this is the contamination main, and this is gonna disperse. So there's gonna be contaminations all over the place here, right? So, and homes, don't forget homes, people's homes. We got homes here, man. We got homes, people's homes, right? Homes, schools, right? Homes and schools, right? All of this is contaminated on the surface. All of it. All of it. The air you breathe is contaminated. The air you breathe is contaminated. Right. All of it. This is from someone. I did 10 years of environmental work, right? 10 years of environmental work. Okay. All of this is contaminated. I would not touch, drink any of the surface water. I would not eat any of the surface fruit, vegetables. I will keep my pets indoors. Okay, indoors. Okay. Now, a lot of the water uh, treatment plants and stuff like this, from what I understand, there's a town, I forget which town it was, that they actually stopped allowing water from whatever river is here to go into the water filtration system. So they stopped the flow there. That's something that Michigan didn't do with Flint, right? With Flint, Michigan, they continued to use this toxic stream water and that corroded all the pipelines and stuff like this, right? So one town or one area has already stopped the flow of the river water going into their treatment facility, right? Because might as well be cautious. No shit, right? So everything on the surface is contaminated. Here's the thing. There are places in this area that get their water from aquifers. I forget how to spell aquifers. Aquifers. So aquifers are basically underground streams, right? And there's a flow to them. Flow to them. Right? There's a flow. So what's going on here is all of the surface is contaminated, but a lot of aquifers, depending, and keep this in mind, right? Depending on what type of stratigraphy, like layers of uh, 
soils and rocks and whatever you have here. Like if this is uh, clay, it acts as a boundary. It's hard for the water that is now making its way into the ground. So remember, all the surface stuff is contaminated, but so is the soil for topsoil. Topsoil. You need topsoil. Topsoil is actually uh, the depletion of topsoil on Earth is a major problem. Major problem. Major problem. Okay. Because once you don't have topsoil, you can kiss goodbye your agriculture. You can kiss goodbye your fruit trees. You can kiss goodbye your livestock, right? Because you need livestock if you're not feeding them inside industrial right you need them you need them to eat grass right now I, again apologies gang if i'm not reading the chat so the topsoil is contaminated and what happens as it continues to rain right if it's raining and it's going to rain the contamination slowly makes its way down into the ground right depending on what they hit they may not penetrate in certain areas however the aquifers get their water supply the water that's coming through here in different locations right so for example this aquifer is not necessarily let's say 100 meters below here or 50 meters below here constantly throughout the whole region sometimes the aquifers go up just like the stratigraphy right the layers of whatever you have goes up comes to the surface sometimes it comes to the surface it hits a lake right so the source for an aquifer might be a lake okay so if this is water let's assume this is a lake a deep lake this might be the source of an aquifer that is making its way down from there right or an aquifer that comes up and just touches it and a little bit of that just replenishes the aquifer and the layer keeps on going this way again right i'm I am 20XX. Thank you for the follow, right? So it goes like this. So this aquifer may have its source somewhere down, further downstream, right? So, oh, good. Nice. So people who are getting water here, right, might have access to an aquifer, which its source is over here, right? Lucky for them for now. Right? People who get water here, maybe outside of the toxic zone, might get their aquifer replenishing from a lake here. Oh, shit. Right? So what's happening right now? This is contaminant. But what's going on with the water system throughout this whole region? Right? There could be major aquifers going in all directions from here. So this isn't just the contaminant zone. The contaminant zone is this right whoa okay whoa when we did geophysics or when i did geophysics some of the geophysics i did i would map out contaminant zone off coming off landfills or brine pits or whatever right so if someone had a well going down here right going down here what we would do, we'd run surveys here. And if there was a landfill on this side, let's say, or a brine pit, right? And the farm owners and stuff, they, they could see that their water is contaminated. Once you use your water from a well, once the well water changes, you know what's going on. Something's happened, right? The aquifer feeding this thing, right? If that's your zone that's where you're getting your water from this is the flow there's something going on something is leaching into the aquifer and contaminating your well water right so whenever we get situations like this we'd be called out we do geophysics and sometimes you you can map out a plume going towards the well water right so the plume movement and by the way Based on stratigraphy, flew, water flows downhill, right? So the water, if it's flowing in that direction, and it's not just 
this is a side view, right? On a map view, if we do the map view here, let me give you the map view too. If you do the map view, let's assume this is the well, right? Right. This is where the dude was. Here is the landfill or brine pit. If you're mapping out contaminant and the farmer or who, the town or whatever, they're concerned about their well water being contaminated, we do mapping of the zone and you see this. And what you see here, this is contours of the uh, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot all the terminology for this stuff, electromagnetic stuff, right? Where you see this would be like a hop, very lots of contamination, lots of ions, and this is less because it's leaching out. All of a sudden you go, oh yeah, your well's inside the contaminant plume. Oops. Family drinks from that. Cattle drinks from that. This is used to water the fields. Oops. 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 Shit. Right? Now, this might take a few years for all of it to leach out, continue, right? When you have a landfill like this or a brine pit like this, it's a constant feed. It's a constant feed of contamination going into the plume, right? An event like this is a one-time event, right? Hopefully, it's a one-time event. And once all that contamination has filtered through, then, you know, hopefully the system, the environmental system will clean itself out, right? Will clean itself out. However, during that period, in this period, who knows how long it's going to take for this contamination to work itself out through the system, right? That might take years, months, and how far down? Like, if people are being poisoned here, and if the contaminant is getting into the aquifer system, because aquifer system, sometimes the flow is fast, sometimes it's slow flow, right? How long is it going to take to hit North Bay, let's say, right? If they're getting their water from the deep aquifer large aquifer that's being fed from this location right it's a shit show the government's lying to you the corporations are lying to you okay that's why that's why we need transparency and accountability of capitalist power which is something that uh, you know organizations like wiki weeks and people like julian assange have been trying to bring uh, for us right reveal reveal the crimes committed by governments and corporations provide accountability and we or provide transparency and we have to provide the accountability right we have to provide the accountability okay that's my take on the ohio uh, palestine train disaster and it is a disaster and if you want to know an equivalent size disaster most likely look at the bhopal look at the incident in india bhopal when a chemical factory facility exploded and tens of thousands of people died in a short period of time and tens of thousands of people were contaminated and they were never able to as far as i know get compensation for what uh the Bo bhopal i think incident uh did in india Okay, will people hear? Right. Gang, <laughs> that's my rant on geophysics and ge hydrogeology and whatnot. Apologies, I missed a fair bit of stuff. This conversation is going on about a few different things. Uh, 990, I wonder if uh, hierarchy causes disasters merely as a distraction mechanism to keep the peasantry lower classes focused on smaller incidents rather than risk the lower classes from becoming too intelligent just a theory yeah is is are all these explosions and uh, chemical facilities and farming uh, warehouses and chicken factories and 
are all are all the fires and stuff that are happening right now are they planned or are they just coincidences that we didn't know happened every year supposedly right you had pete Buttigieg coming along regarding the trail derailment past in ohio saying oh there are, we have thousands of trail de derail derailments every year in the united states yeah a big difference big difference you could have a little train derailment where they put the train back on in the train yard right how many train derailments cause crap like this it's like saying comparing someone who it's it's crazy. The, the, his statement was so one one of the lowest IQ, most disgusting statements you could have ever heard any politician say, right? Any politician say, right? What a piece of crap that dude is! Wow, man! Wow! Holy shite! It's like comparing someone going to the doctor because they cut their pinky. As opposed to someone going to the doctor if they lost both their arms and legs and ear and eye and nose and they're bleeding everywhere saying doctor save me oh i have lots of patients like i see thousands of patients every year that's what i do it's not a big deal it's not a big deal take it easy you're bleeding all over my couch that's pete Buttigieg. Pooh. man Ooh, holy crap wow like when i saw him say that oof 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 wow man wow right crafter i agree that most of the lgtq stuff is stupid and there's extreme extremists but most of the people just want to live there they agreed most these are they've centralized power has taken fanatics and empowered them right rant over <laughs> lions redeem five thousand points <laughs> i'm assuming you like my rant lines awesome 5k auction points you were in the mod last time da, 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 da. We're going through and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian Assange, publishing journalist has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor Tape. I'm bidding for the map. It ain't got that. <laughs> it ain't on, no, it's not for auction. This thing, by the way, this baby here, in, uh, I bought it like around 2000, I guess, 2001, 2000, 2001, 2002. This thing at that time cost me $40 Canadian. Forty dollars Canadian. I bought this. Okay, I went to a map place. I wanted a gigantic map. I wanted to see. I went to a map place, looked at different maps they had. I saw this baby. I was like, mine, <laughs> mine. This is going to be on my wall <laughs> for years to come, right? For years to come. Smiles. His rants are awesome. Hilarious. I'm glad you like my rants. Can you do a rant on UFO stuff, please? Uh, UFO stuff. <laughs> Ninety nine red blues. Oh, where's my, where's my, where's my lyrics? <laughs> There's in the other room. <laughs> we can do a rant on uh, UFO. We'll do it in another stream. Nine hundred ninety. Yep, yeah, the trans debate. I'm gonna skip the trans debate, gang. Um, kingdom. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm scrolling down Nagushka Mots can see what you typed the last time you were here even if uh, the username changed oh wow that's cool I didn't know that Nagushka that's very cool da, 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 da. No, no, no. that's why I said okay I'm gonna skip that stuff skip that's $40 to see it. at the time it was expensive we're talking $40 like 20 plus years ago right $40 20 plus years ago uh, it was a good investment I don't know how much these things go for now I don't know how much these things go for now. Uh, it's, it's uh, what do you call it? Uh, like I'm not. Uh, this is this is gonna stay with me, to, at, as long as possible. Like, hopefully until the end of my days, right? Nine hundred ninety. Uh, Stalin once demonstrated on a chicken. 
if you psychologically control control it exhibiting dominance over it and pull its feathers out invoking severe pain it will still have no other alternative than to continue eating out of your hand because you control its food source uh -huh. and chickens aren't very smart but then again uh, a lot of low iq people aren't either <laughs> music stream asap i know man i practiced and then the, i even had the we were supposed to do a uh, lyric stream last night but i had technical issues so i had to um, i brought out the big guns right it's always good to have the big guns uh a computer here right uh so i all loaded up obs and a new computer and we're doing it but uh i had 99 red balloons i was uh, i was ready to read the lyrics for i had both the english version and the german translation related version and they're a little different right so uh but we'll do it next time probably in a couple of weeks two or three weeks um stream lines. i never thought i'd be doing singing reading lyric stream what in the world how did i get here crafter i don't consider dry cleaning as part of it da, 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 da. Uh, joe chicho they now think that one of the balloons that was shot down by a missile a missile worth four hundred thousand dollars was a twelve dollar obvious balloon an amateur balloon club has reported one of their balloons missing yeah that's u.s government all governments military all right your tax dollars at work your tax dollars at work by the way gang for my snacks i got i got two things here uh, halva mm, halva i wouldn't eat all this this is a lot i just do this because it looks amazing and we just put this in the fridge and we eat it but we'll probably i could eat this pretty fast all right but one way to eat halva which is absolutely amazing is you make toast right toast butter grass-fed butter right your grass-fed butter is super so, so good grass-fed butter and the halva up top right and this is uh, sourdough sourdough bread that my partner has made right super good super good super good <laughs> there's a little hair there oh yeah halva is sesame seeds and butter <laughs> and sugar uh, sesame uh oil sesame seeds i think crushed up with sugar and butter and you add more butter i can see the gonna work. sorry elder god there's a layer of butter there okay very good super delicious you could eat this for breakfast gluten free <laughs> no this this toast is not but my partner most of the sourdough my partner makes is gluten free it's, it's very good Halva tastes amazing. Give me a second. He says, yeah. <clears throat> Pawn, I had to approve one of your messages. Give me a second. I'm drinking sour sop juice right now. Sour sop? What's sour sop? Tastes very refreshing. Sour sop? <laughs> that doesn't sound refreshing <laughs> but I'll, I'll take your word for it i don't know what sour sop is crafter and there's plenty of people that claim to, okay so this that doesn't make uh that 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 uh, conversations i like my toast like i like my women <laughs> leather and pear preserves <laughs> 990 hilarious <laughs> I'm feeling I'll uh, just look at it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's got the butter, so you don't need uh, dairy either. So, uh, how about you could make without butter, I think, and just use oils? But I don't know. But sesame oil, sesame seed is just the oil itself. Trader Joe's has a dairy free halva that is wow, really. Dairy free halva. So, what they must use coconut oil or something right crafter <laughs> so there's a lot of crafter and what they're talking so again what are we going to do about the map what are we going to do about the map what are we going to do about the map oh what's this 
Oh, no, we're going to leave that on there. I didn't realize there was a little sticky here. What are we going to do about the map? <laughs> the conversation is hilarious. Um, we just had something happen. Uh, in Scotland, we had resignation of the prime minister. Sell the map to me, Lion says. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you should be able to get it somewhere. It's a world map. And I covered this up because I don't, you know, I don't want to promote them because Rupert Murdoch owns this. But it's a National Geographic, right? Before Rupert Murdoch bought the damn thing, right? There's a lot of countries left. There's a lot of countries left. Uh, something happened in Africa as well recently. Oh, Nigeria. There's major protests in Nigeria, right? Because the government came out, and so we were pretty bang on. We said this is a civil war. Um, just in the last couple of days, the government came out uh, in the last few days, maybe, and they canceled certain banknotes. They canceled certain banknotes saying, oh, this money is no longer valid, from what I understand. So there's major riots in Nigeria right now. Okay. Um, another place that just, um, where was it? that you, the banks they're they're burning uh banks uh because the banks prevented uh stopped uh weren't allowing anyone to take their money out where was that that was in uh, okay i gotta look it up it's on our uh, gilded server um gilded server yeah we should hit africa first because we haven't really kazakhstan great success kazakhstan they tried to do a major color revolution there to put pressure on Russia in this direction. And Russia wouldn't have it. The Kazakhi people wouldn't have it. They went in there and crushed it, right? Crushed it. Uh, Lebanon, Lebanon, that's what it is. Mik, uh, Miktuga, Miktuga, Lebanon. And Lebanon, we have this, but I think in Lebanon, we should add a yellow to it too then, right? So Lebanon, we're going to have civil war here as well. Like this area is a shit show. Like, really. Like there's a lot of distraction from other places. But uh, never, never forget, this area is biblical. Biblical, right? Judaism, Islam, and Christian, their center for their religion, religions, right, is here. Okay, including a Baha'i and Zoroastrian, so many offshoots as well, right? So many offshoots as well. 980, I've learned to stay out of other people's uh, conflicts. If it directly affects uh, my or my people's uh, safety, though, that's another story indeed. Give me a second. It's a tropical fruit that originates in South American countries. It is. Oh, that thing. Uh, it's a tropical fruit. What was it called again? I forgot what it was called again. It's a tropical fruit that originates in South African countries. It tastes like a mix of many fruits, like a cocktail, but it just has this very pure, smooth taste to it. I would imagine the fruit itself tastes like that too. Really? Wow, wow, wow. That sounds delicious. Crafter. It is the case for many of them. Ba, ba, ba. Lions. A lot of large forces in Ireland, mainly Dublin, right now, to uh, oh protest posters, <laughs> protests, limited immigration, some protests getting heated with the left and right coming to blows. Some Antifa mad madman tried to drive a car through a protest the other day. Really, so Ireland, this area, possibly maybe going towards a civil war because you have Sunak here trying to backstep, uh, backpedal on the Brexit issue as well. So in my opinion, in my opinion, this whole region is going to go yellow as well. Okay. Huge chunks of it in Western Europe. We're going to start seeing a civil war or civil unrest. Okay. Which could be a precursor to civil war. And again, it goes back to what are we going to call it when governments, institutions, and media and everything centralizes waging war on their own citizens, right? Name nameless to gamer 33. Thank you very much for the follow. 
uh, nameless gamer what's my opinion on ukraine right now um we've talked a fair bit about ukraine right now in the last two videos that we did i put out a couple of segments already and i'm going to release some segments in the next few days on last live stream that we talked about but in short in ukraine right now it was a proxy war okay so in ukraine started off as a proxy war and a civil war right but mainly a proxy war okay turned into a civil war went back into a major proxy war and now it's a hot war right and from this hot war once russia is done with what it's going to do and it's going to do what it's going to do there's no stopping what what is about to happen in ukraine right ukraine in my opinion is going to go back to a civil war okay and there's going to be a serious purging of ukrainian leadership that collaborated with western europe united states canada australia and new zealand was the with the collective west to wage to act as a proxy on waging war on russia okay ukraine is going to become balkanized its economy is has already plummeted but it's going to plummet more okay it's going to go into sort of a totalitarian state of being for it is right now but it's going to shift away from the west in my opinion right and what they're going to do in ukraine in western ukraine because eastern ukraine under the protection of russia and depends how far russia is going to go in my opinion russia is going to go all the way to odessa uh, my take is they're going to take all of this ukraine is going to be blocked off from the black sea right and once that happens though eastern ukraine is going to be fairly protected unless nato steps in officially right and you russia could annihilate western forces here right war is going to change a little bit um and we'll talk about that in a, in a second but basically western ukraine whatever is left of it is going to flip the people are going to turn on most likely okay turn on the people who have acted as a proxy and killed brought this devastation upon them right and the same we're going to see the same type of purge purging in western ukraine that we saw in iran after the 1978 1979 revolution where in a matter of three four years hundreds of thousands of people were disappeared right now which side is going to disappear and which side is going to uh, be in power really depends on uh, the next few months okay is it going to be the western back people that are going to remain in power and they're going to purge anyone out anyone that they want or are the people in western ukraine going to rise up against Zelensky and those puppets and eliminate anyone that supported them that's what i think is going to happen okay unfortunate this is i've said this before uh nameless this is the most unnecessary war i know of in history nothing comes close to this this did not have to happen not even close not even close okay this is totally planned uh devastation it's crazy what just took place John hey Chicho, by any chance would you do live uh tomorrow for yesterday's incident if not that's okay yeah i won't be able to gel um i have students tomorrow that i have to deal with and uh i have to take care of uh, other things as well i would love to but uh, my time is so so crunched right now i took on a fair bit of work this year uh, because uh, as you know my partner was not permitted uh, to work uh, because of the man mandates in British Columbia, Canada. So even though the healthcare system is completely collapsed here, there's a shitload of healthcare professionals that are not permitted to work. The government doesn't allow them to work. So Canadians are dying in hospitals. Canadians die in home because they can't get treatment. And a lot of healthcare professionals have left British Columbia, Canada. And the people who 
have remained if they're lucky enough to have a partner that can increase uh, the income to pay the bills or they can downsize we know there's healthcare professionals that have had to sell their properties my partner knows of a nurse that is can't work as a nurse 30-year veteran as a nurse right pension no pension given to her okay no no compensation just fired right uh, she had to sell her home and she's living out of her car working as a nanny i think just imagine just imagine so that answer my time is very limited right now unfortunately i mean we went from doing like three streams a week down to doing one a week uh i tried to get two this weekend and technical difficulties technical but jalen you know what come to our guild gilded server we're gonna do we'll do the lyric stream probably in two weeks send me a message okay or post the request in general folder i guess or send me a message let me know which days and times would work best for you okay and i'll set up the lyrics stream or any other stream that you want um as long as we can manage it on that time that you want it. okay that way we can make sure you come is that cool i hope that works yeah protests in china all this uh, all the time ireland is the start of rebellion elder god says let's see dilza chicho did you go uh, did you go more in depth on the russia ukraine conflict in a previous stream i'd like to go watch the vod uh if that is true i've done segments um we i'm gonna upload one that um that i pulled a segment that i pulled on last week's that i went through the war on russia we started with afghanistan from 1978 and just went through the whole thing uh but all the ukraine stuff there's multiple little segments of it you have to follow us if you want to if you want to know about the ukraine stuff i don't upload everything to sensor tube sensor tube is full of it's crazy i post anything about ukraine saying hey maybe there's multiple parties that are guilt fault here people are freaking out like a lot of people on sensor tube there's there is a there is a fair bit that understand what's happening there's a proxy war in russia but there's a lot of people that <laughs> they're, they're either low iq people or or, or trolls or shills that uh, they're not getting it it's very weird very weird right but i post everything on bitchu rumble and odyssey so you'll be able to see the ukraine stuff there more than you will here like way more videos on ukraine loaded on here than there um and there's an article that i wrote uh, on my blog in 2000 and, uh, like if you go to my website uh, just chicho.com if you do chicho.com will take you to block spot right and on the left column i there's a politics uh what do you call it a table of contents right and if you scroll down there's ukraine there and i wrote about four different articles on ukraine back in 2013 14 15. okay if you click on that it'll take you to the ukraine section and the what's happening right now the buildup of it even though it began with georgia really it began with georgia okay what nato was doing they were moving right to the border of russia and that's a no-no right with nato right ukraine is a much bigger version of georgia right so and georgia happened in the mid 2000s right but what's happening in ukraine right now the really the straw that broke the camel's back was a 2014 coup and there's about four articles that i put together regarding what was going on in that period you have to understand what happened during that period to understand what is happening right now including the stuff in the middle that i stopped writing about okay because i didn't i didn't want to uh as, as i said in uh my main article that i put out saying this was going to be the strictly last year political blah 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 we read it last stream i didn't want to uh, document the carnage that was to come because it was clear what was going to happen and that's where we are right now okay lions i highly doubt 
will get to a hot civil war the ira can't hold a candle to the irish military and the irish government full well no they can't take the north by force no i don't think so uh, civil war i'm talking about uh lions here is when the war that is being the silent war was well, not too silent the silent war if you want to call it right um being loose with words here the silent war that governments in western countries are waging war on their citizens might turn hot so it's not a regional war it's not a war about uh borders it's a war about rights right that's really what a civil war is to me it's not about drawing boundaries it's about rights and western governments right western oligarchs have taken an, taken away human rights of their citizens for the last in the last three years in a big way it really in the united states it started with the patriot act of course right that was a trigger for me once the patriot act got passed right and it kept on being renewed it told us something it said that the government is going to continue waging war on its own citizens end of story and western governments followed that lead right because who calls a shot in the western world is the united states okay so they follow that we lead so for the last 20 years 22 years western governments have been waging war on their own citizens what's going to break the camel's back right what's going to break the camel's back canada became very close to it right the trucker movement in canada right that was a legit grassroots movement from everyday canadians saying enough is fucking enough right you can't prevent us from working are you crazy right you can't force us to not have bodily autonomy are you fucking crazy right and they did a movement this is not over by the way this is not over not by a long shot right not by a long shot right that's what i mean with a civil war i think europe is going to see it soon certain parts probably right probably remember remember gang remember okay before the rollout of uh sweet sweden for sanity calls it the forcing people to drink tea and the lockdowns and stuff like this what was going on in the world really what was going on in the world before all these lockdowns and the thing that came from there possibly came from there when all over what was going on in the world there was mass protests everywhere in the world there was mass protests everywhere in the world right from south america to central america to canada united states canada not so much right canada's pretty sleepy right that's why they were able to do what it is they're doing right but in the united states in europe in france yellow vest there was mass protests in, mass protests in asia all over the world there was mass protests and then magically something came along in those lockdowns right what's going on what's going on right nameless so russia is going to win or just stay at it no russia uh, nameless ukraine lost the moment they didn't abide by minsk minsk one and two they didn't take russia's statements as facts saying look man stop killing russian-speaking ukrainians you fuckers okay we don't want to go to war okay but we will prevent you from committing genocide in the east okay ukraine the collective west nato lost from day one when they instigated this war they lost okay they lost from day one when they kicked russia off swift right they lost okay they were done why were they done why did the collective west commit harry carry collective suicide why right because the people here went we can't lose europe we have to maintain control on europe 
okay? The people here, okay? They have already lost in multiple places. A lot of places they lost in Africa. There's an African country that just told, uh, was it Charlie, uh, Chad? I think it was Chad that just recently agreed to host the Russian military, military base. Mali just kicked out, gave France two months to pack up and get the fuck out, right? So Europe, United States, they're losing Africa if it wasn't ever theirs to begin with, right? But that's the way they look at it. We lost Africa. We're losing Africa, right? So the United States to maintain a stranglehold, right, as much as it can, it's collapsed Europe. Like the attack, when the United States, Norway, right, Sweden and Denmark collaborated with the UK to blow up Nord Stream 1 and 2, they were waging war on Germany. They knew exactly what was going to happen in Germany. Germany is collapsing. Done. Why is it collapsing? Because Western Europe, the only reason it was either, the only reason it was maintaining uh, a certain illusion of prosperity was because they were getting cheap energy from Russia. That's, that's it, right? What runs the world? Energy runs the world right energy you got access to energy you survive you got access to cheap energy you prosper right it's like a human being you got access to food you survive you got access to a lot of food right as long as you're exercising you don't become a pig and eat yourself to death right you will live a pretty healthy life right countries are the same way but what they did when they blew up Nord Stream 1 and 2, when, why was Ukraine? Ukraine was the main artery of energy going into Western Europe, right? Main artery of energy going to Western Europe, right? As soon as they blew those up, they basically killed off their own energy supply out of Ukraine. I think maybe a little still tricking, I can't remember. Turkey building the pipelines coming up this way, right? Energy is coming this way. These idiots, under the dictates of the neocons and the desires of the World Economic Forum and the EU, the oligarchs there, right? They cut off their own damn energy supply. They cut off their own energy. Stop eating. What's going to happen if you stop eating? You're going to die. That's exactly what Europe did. They cut off their own fucking food supply. On the promise, on the promise... That within 10 years, Canada said in 10 years, we might be able to get you some energy. <laughs> right? All our shores come to Canada. We need energy. We need food. We got to eat. We're dying. Oh, in 10 years, we'll get you some, possibly some energy, possibly. Right? The United States, they're hitting their reserves, right? <laughs> they're hitting their reserves. These guys think, this is going to save them at five, three, ten times the cost, whatever the cost is way more than what they were getting from Russia, right? Europe is done. Western Europe is done. They just collect, committed collective suicide, right? Or let's paraphrase, right? Because the majority of people in Europe didn't realize what was happening. Stupid on them right stupid on them they were protesting right before the lockdowns but they drank the kool-aid many of them they fucking drank the kool-aid right so what's happening here is western europe the oligarchs the world economic forum the neocons right they just murdered western europe I think this is going to go yellow. I think it's going to go yellow. When? Might be a decade. But it's going in that direction. Right? Going in that direction. Uh, nameless. My opinion is different. The West isn't perfect. No, no, the West isn't going to make it for another 50 years. But West Western is still better than Putin's propaganda and prisoners fighting in Ukraine. Um, Prisoners, at least Russia, went to the prisoners and said, hey, 
Reduce sentence if you go fight for us. They gave them the options. In Ukraine, they're driving around vans and picking up anyone from 16 to 60. Males fighting age. That's their definition. They reduced the age to 16, I think. Right? They're going around with vans, hijacking, kidnapping people, putting them in a van, putting a... I'm assuming they're giving them guns and shipping shipping them off to the front lines. No choice. No choice. Right? A lot of people go, oh, Russia's... People left Russia because they didn't want to go to war. Yeah. How many? A few tens of thousands? How many million left Ukraine? Right? It's a different game. It's a different game. Right? Don't buy into the Western propaganda. Russia you know, is, is about to bulldoze Ukraine, in my opinion. The war is very dumb. The war is stupid, nameless. I agree with you. I'm scrolling down, gang. Scrolling down. I'm going to see if there's anything directed to my Chicho. Uh, Elder God, Chicho. Need to maybe do more late evening streams in the music room. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm going to, once uh, I, I've lightened my load a little bit. Uh, I had some students that they were on a semester system, so they're finished. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I want to take physics, so I'm going to start teaching on physics. Danny the Butcher, thank you very much for the follow. So I got uh, some, I thought some, there's going to be some openings, but they're coming back. Uh, and some of them want me to teach them next year's lessons as well. Uh, <laughs> smart kids, right? Smart parents. Uh, they're, they finished their math, but they're not letting me go. Um, so I'll try to make some time. I'll try to make some time. I know, I know. What? When the governments wage war on you. Right, our government in British Columbia, both the provincial and the federal, has been waging war on Canadian citizens. Right, we have to do what we got to do. Right, we got to do what we got to do uh, to stay uh, relevant, to be resilient, to make sure we're strong mentally, physically, right, and financially, we are independent from these fuckers. Because you know, you know, retribution is coming for them. You know it. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it in the air. They're fucking running scared, as they should be. Right? I'm scrolling down, gang. I'm scrolling down. Nameless, nameless. Let me see. Let me see. So it's like the Middle East wars. Uh, someone benefits while other others die. Yeah. There's always someone collecting the cash. Yeah. One hundred percent. And Ukraine is one of the most corrupt countries in the world. The most corrupt country in Europe nothing even comes close to it right nothing even comes close to it right and it's one of the most corrupt countries in the world it's on the and on the corruption level it's on the same scale as what afghanistan was under occupied uh nato right that ukraine is probably more corrupt than that right? I, I don't know any other country that's more corrupt than ukraine i really don't which country is more corrupt than ukraine canada mm. Canada's pretty fucking corrupt. The, the people running are pieces of shit, but they don't come close to Ukraine. Right? I'm scrolling down again. I'm scrolling down. Let's see if there's anything directed to it. Uh, Sudan. It was, oh, Sudan. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Sudan. So, Sudan, uh, that's the Russian military base, right? Uh, Joe, Joe, you're on the ball on this. Thank you very much. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't Chad. It was Sudan that. Um, just okay a russian military base to be put in there just imagine do you guys remember this is sudan right do you remember george clooney a few years ago hollywood not a hollywood clown right we need to separate sudan into two parts and stuff why is the fucking george clooney coming out and talking about what we should do to an african what we in the west what we in the west europe united what we should dictate what we should do what sh sudan should do that's what i knew george clooney was a piece of shit clown right like he was doing the same shit that sean penn's doing in ukraine right 
same shit. Hollywood is vomit inducing. George uh, Larkbark, George Clooney is Hollywood. Hack, very much like Sean Penn. Yeah, yeah, very much. Uh, availability. Uganda all, also told them to fuck off and call them, uh, call them col colonizers. Did they? Uganda did as well. Eh? Cool. Gang, what are we going to do about Africa? We've got to focus on Africa. Chad is peaceful right now, isn't it? Chad is peaceful right now, isn't it? Uh, Joe Chicho, Germany should never have turned off their nuclear plant. Never. They shouldn't have. I put out a video a while ago saying that I didn't like nuclear plants. I think they were dirty, right? I take that back. I take that back. Okay, I'm still going to keep it up, but they're dirty. They're old. We need new technology, right? Some people burn my ass for that, and I deserved it, right? Because I didn't clarify, right? It wasn't a video. It was a little segment, so I should have clarified more. But yeah, uh, I prefer nuclear plants over this war any day, man. Any day. Will England survive? Dizzy Moth. Yeah, England will survive. UK? I don't know. Is UK going to remain as is? Or are they going to separate? Are they going to separate? Right? England will survive. It's not doing too well, though. Availability, what's happening in Western Europe is being suicided because of US foreign policy. It always concludes to war. And because the US is a war economy that needs to start wars, they are starting more wars. They've proven they're willing uh, to stab their allies in the back to fill their money pot. Wolfowitz doctrine, etc. It's all uh, systematically designed to provoke conflict, 100%. But you can't dismiss the responsibility the European oligarchs and royalty have had in Europe. They are very much to blame for what's happening. If someone comes and gives you a gun and says, kill your family, when you kill your family, right? Are they responsible more than you? Or do you ha have the same weight, right? Look at the people at the World Economic Forum. Oh, man. Pan Chicho, what is your choice of country to run away to if Canada becomes un unlivable under Trudeau? Say you have to escape force injections, go to US. Uh, it, I can honestly tell you, I wouldn't go. Okay. Um, oh, I lost one of our thingamajigs. Where'd you go? Um, in regards to Canada, right? I don't think there's any place to go to, to tell you the truth, right? I would stand my ground because this is my country. I've buried two brothers here, man. I ain't fucking going, <laughs> right? I ain't going. I ain't going to get forced out by Trudeau or his like. And I think many Canadians feel the same way, right? So most Canadians, many that I know, they're, they're not leaving right okay but if you had to go right and sometimes you do have to go i would buy my time maybe in one of the islands here right one of the islands here possibly okay south america i don't know i don't know no, look at what Brazil is doing. Brazil is a civil war. 100% Brazil is in civil war, right? So let's put a civil war on Brazil. Let's put a civil war on Brazil because Brazil is civil war. Let's put this guy back. So would I go to South America? No, look what happened. Look what happened as soon as Bolsonaro was gone. You had a clown. You had a clown coming to power 
saying that anyone that doesn't want to take give up their bodily autonomy could be sent to jail for eight years and fine thousands of dollars whoa shit that's pretty serious business right that's pretty serious business could they do the same thing in canada no people will fucking fight back man people will fucking fight back right um all this blue looks great right however these areas have shown like look at philippines right du ducarte he's not in power anymore i don't think so anyway but when he came into power he started pretty fascistic totalitarian right you do this or you die right you do this or you die right will it go there again i don't know i don't know right Look at um, Vietnam seems pretty good from what I've seen. Vietnam seems pretty good. Thailand seems legit. Thailand seems legit. OK, so this area, possibly I wouldn't go to Korea, even though I can love my Koreans. Right. Japan. No, Japan's off the mark. OK, Middle East. No, this place is going to blow sky high. Most likely Europe. I wouldn't set foot in. Sorry, gang. Europe is it's a hot zone Armenia I could get citizenship right because I'm Armenian I can go there get citizenship being able to buy land right but I wouldn't go there that's a hot zone that's gonna blow sky high right that's gonna blow sky high islands seem legit okay so this area as far as we know they're blue right oh I lost my blue energy where's my blue I dropped my blue thing, so I'm gonna grab blue here. Okay, let's do let's do the islands. Let's put some blues along here because these are blue, so might as well let it stand out, right? As far as I know, like Saint Lucia, uh, Grenada, uh, Dominica, uh, what are they? Saint Vincent? Uh, Martinique, uh, Puerto Rico to a certain degree, maybe no Puerto Rico, no. Okay. Uh, where else? Where where else? Bahamas, we already got as blue. Cuba, but Cuba mm, problems there, but it's safe. Cuba's safe. Okay, but there are problems there. Okay, and you have to abide by a totalitarian regime, right? If they say you got to take it up to shoot, you got to take it up to shoot, right? So I wouldn't go there. So this taking it up to shoot thing sort of eliminates a lot of these not so independent countries, right? But if you want to escape war, they could be legit as long as it's not a war on you, right? So these areas seem fairly safe, right? Would you agree? difficult to say difficult to say africa looks good i can honestly tell you oh my god thank you very much for the subscribe how many how many months in a row oh, oh wow i'm way oh my god where is it oh oh it didn't tell me just call me gifted oh wow just call me gifted a sub to elder god just call me gifted a sub to elder god right on <laughs> thanks very much just call me salute 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 Africa, tell you the truth, is looking very good because the uptake people that said my body, my choice was 95%. Compared to Western Europe that said, my body, tell me what to do with my body. Same with Canada. Tell me what government, corporations, media, tell me what I should do with my body. That's what the reply was in Western Europe, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, right? So I dangerous places right but africa 95 percent said my body my choice mc mike thank you very much for the sub salute salute right so i'd like to go somewhere where there's at least uh, if i was going to escape some kind of individuality right which is the problem i have with asia 
right? It's very collective, right? And same with Europe, it's become very collective. The government says this, scare the shit out of you, everyone jumps ship, right? It's crazy. I'm gonna scroll back up again just to. Uh, oh, it's a naval base. And Sudan is a naval base? Oh, so it's a naval base up here. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Russia is building a small, from what, what I remember, it's a small naval base in Sudan in here. Right? Pretty damn important. The Red Sea? Pretty damn important. Right? Thank you very much, Joe for uh, keeping us informed. <laughs> Niger, Niger, Automod zapped you, Makila. So uh, Mozambique and Niger because of Islamist groups attacks. So yellow for Mozambique and Niger. Okay, let's do it. Yellow, Niger. What about Chad? What's Chad like? What's going on with Chad? Do we know? Now, where's Mozambique? Mozambique, 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 Mozambique. Oh, Mozambique's down there. There, Mozambique. There's Islamists there. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mozambique. Is there for sure? Do we know this for sure? Crypto <laughs> Cube TV, are you a right winger? Hilarious. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> First time chat. Thank you very much for popping into our live stream. Salute, salute. Let's see, let's see. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Uh, Lions. Whales will never separate. They're the biggest. <laughs> My Welsh friends would not appreciate that. Fun, Chicho, good answer. Thanks, brother. Lions, Chicho. Uh, nah, come to Ireland, have a pint, and let the whole thing blow over. <laughs> I like Ireland. I like Ireland. Go into a pub, play music, and drink beer. Oh my god, <laughs> of course, if you don't have bodily autonomy, you can't go into a pub and drink beer and play music with them. So that's a shitter, right? Joe Chicho, do you think you'll ever visit Iran or Armenia again? Um, uh, I hope to, I hope so. One day, not looking likely anytime soon, though. And I've never been to Armenia. I've never been to Armenia. I would like to go one day, but would I go there? No. No. That's a war zone. Why would I travel to a war zone? Uh, I'm not into waging war. Right? We have a man on the island. Yeah, Ireland. Just got to make sure. Uh, yeah. One of my best friends is Irish. Ducklin. <laughs> That's an Irish name. You ever heard of one? Available. South Koreans can be such nice people. Yeah, indeed. I like my Korean friends. Uh, and I had a couple of brothers, South Korean brothers. And I like my um, Japanese friends and, and stuff too. Antarctica? No. Antarctica is com completely controlled, right? So, Antarctica, if you want to go there, you got to do whatever the centralized power says. So, Antarctica bodily autonomy was zero. No one could say I have a right over my own body. So why would I go there? Right? And you can't grow food there. You're totally dependent on outside forces. So no. South Korea is full of cults. They are indeed. <laughs> Which can be problematic in some senses. Indeed, indeed. But they do. They're tough little buggers. South Koreans. They're tough. Shame socks. Greetings, fellow bipedal land mammals and quad quadruple pedal uh contrarians <laughs> shame sorry da, 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 i'm scrolling down scrolling down. Pawn, chicho philippines has communist rebels that kidnap and hold for ransom southern thailand is very dangerous southern thailand is very dangerous okay 
uh, jihadis behead so many people there, uh, arm their uh, citizens for free to defend them. Really? So should we put yellow in southern Thailand? Should we put yellow in southern Thailand? I didn't realize that in Thailand. You're living uh, in the Philippines, so in Philippines could be seriously problematic. Thailand, I didn't know about. All right. Oops. Come here. Hey. So southern Thailand. Border goes. Malipen by Hatiyai. <laughs> <laughs> pronouncing names so i'm gonna put yellow there okay just so we get a visual of where problem areas might be right and thank you very much again uh just call met me just call me tony 97 for uh, the gift what about Cameroon? What about Cameroon? Cameroon has some problems. Cameroon, there was something going on recently. Uh, where is it? Right here. There, there was something going on in Cameroon recently. So it's not, uh, it's not a stable. Hype train. Where's I train? Hype train. <laughs> she just was caught scrolling now 57 times. <laughs> Give me a secret quote. A hype train starts when multiple viewers support with subs. Nice. Gifts or bits. Once a hype train is underway, the community fills up the hype meter with more subs, gifts, or bits. Everyone who contributes receives one unique emote based on the highest level completed. Ah, cool. That's what a hype train is. Nice, nice. Chicho. You could fish. Ah, you could fish, indeed. See, I'm on the west coast of Canada, so we could always fish here. But here's a problem. Ah, fish supplies are seriously in trouble to a certain degree. You're talking about Antarctica. Uh, I don't know. How's the fish, fish situation in Antarctica? How's the fish situation in Antarctica? Man, Automat doesn't like... Uh, this. So I'm going to read this. Uh, uh, Troy, Automod zapped us. I'm going to allow it, but I'm going to read your thing. Otherwise, it's going to pop away from me. Chad, Niger, Mali, Algeria, all got Islamist insurgents going on right now. The new leader of Mali accepted help from Russia and pissed the French off by doing so. Yeah. And France, what a fucking... I wrote an article. I put an article together back in... I don't know when it was 2012 or 11 or something like this saying uh the future uh, future of africa looks bleak and i explained here's why it was a four-parter one of them was about france and not learning the uh lessons of algiers and was about a comic book that was put out and those idiots went into mali uh, like crazy Euro european leaders are whack okay niger so these are country chat so chat as well so chat is a civil war okay let's put that on there uh we got niger uh what was the other one algeria algeria too eh? algeria i mean libya this whole area fucking nato not nato it's just fucking canada united states france and italy and the uk they annihilated the most prosperous country in africa like fuck man the crime committed there wow so we got uh let's check this out chad mali niger algeria all have islamic blah, 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 and what's the other one and mali just told france to f off and russia's in right okay thank you very much troy i'm going to allow the thing now uh automata is zapping niger because it thinks it's something else right uh jelen i feel that as a hispanic american i absolutely despise mexico as i've seen a lot and i've seen my mom get kicked as a kid uh my father was killed recently there he lived there and my family uh 
when they got to Mexico asked me why I never gonna go that's because it's a trash guy I don't think all of Mexico all of Mexico can't be a trash guy right northern Mexico there's serious problems there but there are pockets which are okay but if all of Mexico goes all those little pockets you're gonna see some serious shit happen right so Mexico is on the teeter-totter we have it as a civil war and to a certain degree it is uh, but mainly on the north from what I understand in, in the south is it's not that bad but it is a major pathway for the migration going on this way so if you're near one of the highways or the main route where migrants are making their way up south up uh, north right towards the United States there's going to be a lot of uh, it's not safe I don't think where because there's going to be a lot of gangs first of all there's going to be a lot of certain amount of criminal element in there a lot of desperation moving in this direction right so if you're near one of these major pathways of this migration uh, very problematic like I do I wouldn't trust any of the numbers saying if you know they're you know if what the crime rate is and stuff because a lot of it's not going to be reported it's like hawaii right they don't say how many people drown in hawaii because a lot of people drown in hawaii right oh hell of god thank you uptime one hour 45 minutes okay cool 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 i want to scroll down more uh joe from what i understand the issues in thailand thailand um are along the southern border with Malaysia because it's Muslims and Buddhists clashing. Okay, so we put it in the right place. Right? So again, if everything's blowing sky high around you, is that safe? Right? Is that safe? Uh, Lion's Chicho. What what do you reckon is the la least corrupt country in the world? Least corrupt country. Least corrupt country. <laughs> I, I Iceland I think is would be up there, the least one of the least corrupt. In two thousand and eight, they threw bankers in jail, right? So Iceland, I would say. Enzo says Antarctica, but Antarctica isn't a country. It's satellite offices. Countries have satellite offices there, right? A least corrupt country in the world. That's a good question. Iceland, I would put up there. Western Europe, all of it fucked. All of it. All of it. Norway. Norway helped the United States blow up Nord Stream 1 and 2. They, they attacked Germany. And they're supposed to be allies. <laughs> what the F? They attacked Germany. The government of Norway attacked the citizens of Germany. Are any Germans out there? What the fuck? Right? Bangladesh. We haven't done Bangladesh. I, I don't know anything about Bangladesh. Okay. So, what's Bangladesh? Should be a, it hasn't hit my radar, so I'm assuming this is clean. Djibouti. Oh, Djibouti. Where is Djibouti? Djibouti is here somewhere, isn't it? Where is Djibouti? Am I in the wrong part of the globe? Where is Djibouti? So we've got Djibouti and Bangladesh. We've got to figure out. What about Botswana? Zimbabwe. I don't know what Zimbabwe is going on. You can't call it a civil war. It's just an inflation <laughs> war. Why is uh, Namibia marked? I was there three years ago on a road trip. Uh, Namibia. Namibia. Where is Namibia? Okay, what have we got? Ghana. Togo. 
Burka fiasco, Ivory Coast, Libya, Sierra Leone, New Guinea, or Ghana, Ghana, Gabon, Congo, Cameroon, Central Republic. Okay, where are we? Namibia. Did we mark Namibia? That's Angola. Where's Namibia? What? My geography is messed up. First time chat. Harold Flower 69. Chisho, do you think the United States would go to war with China over Taiwan invasion? No, but I think uh, they're building up to have some kind of conflict, unfortunately. If, if China invaded right now, United States wouldn't go to war right now. Is that going to be the case five years from now, right? I don't know. Right now, United States can't do shit about Taiwan if China wants to take it, right? Uh, but I don't think China will take it right now. Uh, China's just buying its time. China, it's like the collective West is committing collective suicide. If we believe that China and Russia are their adversaries, why would China and Russia do anything other than let the collective West commit suicide. Because that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing, right? Or what we're doing, right? Everything is going according to plan. If you believe China and Russia are your adversaries, everything is going to plan according to them. We're annihilating ourselves, right? First time chat, just call me Tony97. I'd like to ask your opinion. Oftentimes, I see people comment about a country such as the U.S., Canada, European countries, true countries of freedom. Uh, they speak with such negative con connotations towards the country they live in. Yet daily, so many people flee other countries to come to these opportunistic places. What's your opinion towards people who never realize how good they have it? Uh, as the saying goes, people constantly think it, the grass is greener on the other side that's why i say when pawn asked me where would i go outside of canada i it, i wouldn't right now right because i don't have anyone shooting at me at the moment however one of the reasons people are, are trash talking the western countries that we live in is because rights are being taken away like what's what's the most attractive thing right most desirable element of living in the western world it's not the intelligence of the people i can i can tell you that right i saw more intelligent people when i went to cuba in the 90s per capita than i have ever seen in canada like really like the people i talked to in cuba in the 90s spoke multiple languages new science new mathematics they were worldly they were athletic they were they blew away the average intelligence level of canada right so it's not because people in western world are smart because there's a lot of idiots here right are we healthy here no not healthy right compared to cuba <laughs> the people in cuba health wise man <laughs> you can't you can't mess with it right I'm just taking Cuba as an example, right? Uh, one thing Canada has that I can tell you is land, lots and lots of land, right? And in the 90s, we had a lot of freedom, a lot of freedom. And we had a good standard of living, right? Because our money, our pay, would, we were in the top of the pyramid, right? So if you were making a salary in Canada in the 90s, right? You could travel to a lot of places and live like a king i couldn't you couldn't go to europe and live like a king i, I tried 98 i went there it was fucking expensive i couldn't go to scandinavia because i found out a beer was like ten dollars canadian i'm like damn i spent a lot of time in spain because you ordered a vodka and they brought I couldn't believe it right you i ordered a vodka in spain they put the glass in there they i, I go uh, vodka la glace la glace i think it's ice or something if i recall correctly with ice and they put a glass in front of me put ice in it, and just kept on pouring 
And the kid, they would fill it up to the top. I was like, what the hell? And then someone told me, oh, they fill it until you tell them to stop. Try that shit in Canada. <laughs> you, order, you order vodka, they give you a shot of this much for like six bucks, right? Europe in the 90s for Canadians was pretty expensive, but most of the rest of the world was pretty cheap, right? Right now, that standard of living has dropped big time because inflation has kicked in, right? Not only that, in Canada in the 1990s, there was a lot of freedom. You had bodily autonomy. In the last three years, bodily autonomy went down the toilet, right? Bodily autonomy went down the toilet. So one of the reasons people are trash talking in the Western countries where we live is because they're seeing a lot of rights being taken away from them and total totalitarianism rolling in, right? So we have totalitarian regimes in the beginning stages of being formed because what Western governments, Western oligarchs, Western corporations have been doing to the global South, to Africa, to Central America, to Southern uh, South America, to fair chunk of Asia, right? And Eastern Europe, what the Western governments have been doing to them and the Middle East, don't forget the Middle East, what they've been doing to them, they're starting to do to their own citizens. So for example, biometrics, right? Biometrics, right? Keeping track of people's fingerprints, biometrics, eye scans and stuff like this. Do you know what one of the places, one of the first places was that that was rolled out in the world who it was done by and to who it was done to i know this because i wrote about it okay this was in the mid 2000s mid 2000s in fallujah iraq okay mad dog mattis right united states in iraq okay they surrounded fallujah because they said there was islamists there and there were but what the fuck is the US doing occupying Iraq, right? That's a long story. We talked about it a little bit in the last stream. In Fallujah, the United States surrounded the city, right? They turned to the people and said, okay, women and children can leave. Okay, anybody coming into Fallujah, you have to have your biometrics taken. Okay. They bombed the civilian town just bombed the shit out of it hit medical facilities uh hit ambulances killed innocent people because some people wouldn't leave this their town right we know this because of dar jamal who's dar jamal dar jamal was an american citizen that was living in alaska never done journalism before he saw the iraq war roll out and he saw the media and the collective west cheering this shit on exactly the same way they do now right rah 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 let's go to war rah 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 let's go to war bad guys bad guys bad guys bad guys let's go kill them let's go kill them right bomb the shit out of them televise the stuff live look at this white phosphorus ha ha remember during the first gulf war was was that general's name oh, fat fuck right he was televising something and they were showing this was cnn live right they were showing this bridge that they were blowing up okay and they go oh you're about to the guys the guys giving the speech live on tv right he's saying oh you're about to see the luckiest man in the world right and it's night vision and you see this car or a bike drive across this bridge i think it was a car drive across this bridge right and as soon as it gets over the bridge the united states blows up this bridge and the guy the general and they show this video and everyone all the media starts laughing the general starts laughing he goes haha just imagine this guy driving across this bridge and looking on his rear rear mirror and seeing the bridge blow up he's a lucky man motherfucker right motherfucker right that, when people talk about the atrocities here, man, you, you didn't, if you guys didn't witness Gulf War One and Two in real time, you don't know what atrocities are, right? United States surrounded Fallujah, bombed the shit out of it. We know this because Dar Jamal went there. Okay, I got videos of Dar Jamal's 
Uh, here, I'll link it up for you. He wrote a book about it. I got one of his books signed. Okay. I went and talked to him. I videotaped the thing. It was me videotaping it and one other person that I knew. Um, and he, he does uh, uh, stimulator, right? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here, I'll find you the link. Chicho TV. Where is it? Where is it? <sighs> Let me find it for you. Let me find it for you. Man, I got so much stuff here. Wuhan. Here we go. Fallujah. Okay. This is, I recorded the whole speech that Dar Jamal was giving. Okay. Here's the article I wrote in 2012 regarding Fallujah. Watch the video. Watch the video that is in this post, okay, at the bottom of the article that I wrote. Watch this video. You tell me if this doesn't bring tears to your eyes. Okay, you tell me if this doesn't bring tears to your eyes. Fallujah is the first place that biometrics were rolled out, okay, by a Western power on citizens of an occupied country and at the time i wrote multiple pieces short pieces some of them i might have ma mentioned in, in this piece as well i can't remember i wrote a shitload of stuff on iraq you can take a look at it i mentioned that what they're doing there is going to come to our own countries okay it's going to come to our own countries lo and behold what's going on 15 years later biometrics biometrics trying to do biometrics like literally europe is talking about biometrics canada is talking about biometrics right we're rolling up biometrics for your own citizens do people actually think that these governments right that did this to women and children families to a town in iraq are not going to do the same thing to fucking us do we actually think that governments, the corporations, the oligarchs, the warmongers, the psychopaths distinguish between our lives and the lives of Fallujans? Do you think they give a rat's ass about us? So to answer your question, why do people in the West talk so much shit about our governments? Because our governments are murderous fucking regimes, right? If you live in the global south, you know this, right? And some of us are seeing the guns now pointing at us, and they're about to do to us what they did to citizens of Fallujah. That's why. Okay. That's why. I'm scrolling down again. Joe Chicho, is the blue circle for Malaysia or Singapore? Um, da, 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 da. We got Indonesia, Philippines. Wait a second. You mean here? This blue circle? Joe? Because that's the only place I see the circle. Hold on, let's see this. I gotta read the things. This is Cambodia, Vietnam. We got Laos. We got Thailand, right? We got Myanmar. Philippines. Indonesia. Malaysia. Yeah, we put it. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is Malaysia. So I put it on the capital. I think the capital's there, isn't it? That's Jakarta, isn't it? Jakarta's there. Must be there. Oh, okay, hold on. Man, this sticky is really sticky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, Jakarta's down. Oh, no, Jakarta's up here. Oh, man, I'm getting all my names all confused now. Yeah, Malaysia, this is for Malaysia. 
So it should be there. It should be there, I guess. Right? Where's Singapore? I'm missing Singapore. Okay, I gotta look at this map more closely now. I gotta look at the map more closely now. Uh, Djibouti is between Ethiopia and Yemen. It's between Ethiopia and Yemen. Okay, cool. So we're putting yellow on there. Oh, it's right there. I knew it. It's uh, Eritrea. Is Djib so was Djibouti uh, uh, not at war? That's right, Djibouti is right there. Okay, what did we decide on Djibouti? Southwest of Africa. Southwest of Africa. Do, 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 do. Southwest. Wait a second. Cape Town. That was the other country you guys were mentioning. Botswana. Botswana. What are we doing for Djibouti? Okay, I'm going to share. So, Joe. And what was for Southwest of Africa, Joe? Which country are we looking at? I'm, going, I'm scrolling down again. I'm scrolling down. Jacoby, thank you very much for the 5,000 points. Uh, I'm scrolling out to see if there's anything directed towards me. Yeah, by the way, gang, you can save your points and use the points for auction next year. We just did one recently, so you got lots of time to build up points. Overtime activated. How are we doing with overtime? We're in overtime. Let's get Djibouti sorted out. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. Good rank, how do uh, uh, Joe Chicho, the one just below the yellow one. The one just below the yellow one. Oh, there it is. Swaziland. That's Swaziland. Mozambique, Swaziland. Tanzania, Kenya. I thought Kala Lampur was the capital of Malaysia. It's, oh, Kala Lampur is probably the capital of Malaysia. Yeah, I do, I'm not good with... Uh, uh, Jakarta is Indonesia. Thank you very much, Smith. And sorry, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Kala Lamp, uh, Lampa. Kala Lampa is capital of Malaysia. Jakarta is Indonesia. Yeah. Singapore is on the southern border of Malaysia. South of... Okay, so Singapore. So Singapore peace. Yes? Do we agree? Uh, so Singapore is on the southern border of Malaysia. Come on, Singapore, where are you? Yeah, yeah, Jakarta is right there. That's Indonesia. And what are we doing with Indonesia, by the way? We never decided. Uh, what the hell? What am I looking for? I'm looking for Singapore. <laughs> Having a hard time finding Singapore. Okay, I'll have to find Singapore later. I'll keep that in mind. I'm having a hard time finding Singapore. South of Canada. Oh, there it is, Singapore. Damn, so small little bugger. There it is, Singapore. Where am I? Where I am about to put the blue? Is Singapore okay right there Doink. so Singapore blue we agree it's like a little mini state uh, Joe Chicho you were wondering where Namibia was ah oh, it's northwest of South Africa north west Namibia 
Oh, Northwest, jeez. Oh, we already got Namibia sorted out. That's right, because I got the, the sticker over the name. That's why I couldn't find it. Namibia would put blue. I shouldn't put it on the names. Namibia would got blue. You're saying it's supposed to be yellow? When I said uh, the one below the yellow one, I was referring to Singapore. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so that one. Nice. Thanks, Joe. We're, we're sorted out. <laughs> We sort of so were we saying the media civil war is that what you're saying Civil war is just south of, okay cool cool we got that sorted out awesome uh pawn papa papaya papaya is inside indonesia and there's a strong separatist movement it's in the east jayupa Okay, so where are we going to? Indonesia. It's inside. So which part? Bah, bah, bah. Indonesia is over there. It's inside. Oh, inside where? Indonesia. East Timor. East of Jayopa. Okay, I'll have to oh no okay I'll have to find those later it is Kuala Lumpur <laughs> I can I said Kuala Lumpur and they spelled it Kuala, Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur okay cool cool thank you railway <laughs> I know Northwest Point sees <laughs> this way was I should know I live on the West Coast what the hell Clown world time. Papua New Guinea. Yeah, what are we going to do with Papua New Guinea? Part one map was way easier, way easier. We're hitting the little guys now. Papua New Guinea is a separate, uh, separate country. Papaya is next to it. Oh, okay. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea is... Wait a second. Papua New Guinea. Yeah, it should be here. Yeah, Papua New Guinea... Yeah, so what's going on in Papua New Guinea? That's, I, as far as I know, that's blue. Papua. Papua is next to it. Damn. I don't see Papua. I really don't see Papua. So Papua New Guinea, Kenya. Yeah, what about Kenya? What about Kenya? Civil War? So uh, Pawn, what about Papua New Guinea? Uh, and what about Kenya? Cannibalism is still going on in Papua New Guinea? Nagushika? <laughs> is there? Check me. How is Australia sending weapons money? Yeah, yeah. Australia's, Australia's in deep into the Western wars, no doubt about it. It's also a civil war in Australia. Australia is same same as Canada, really. They're raising the world's largest uh, guinea pig farm. Are they? First time chat. Salutations, Alfred. Papua New Guinea's right hand of Big Island above Australia. Yeah. So Papua New Guinea. But is it peaceful there? Is it peaceful there? Or are they involved in any wars? Smith. Papua New Guinea border runs adjacent. Does it? So this is Papua? Wait a second. What? So that's Papua New Guinea. Is that Papua? Oh, it's a region of Indonesia. Oh, so that's where there's this, a strong separatist movement. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to put yellow there. Thank you. Thank you, gang. Apologies if I wasn't getting it. Doink. So that's a civil war. If they're trying to separate. Boop. 
but I don't see Papua anywhere listed here like the name is not there uh, Papua New Guinea has a lot of violence internally does it so should we is it availability is it legit to say civil war <laughs> Cheryl's laughing at Alfred's statement. They are raising the world's largest guinea pig uh, army. Uh -huh. Joe, uh, I think Papua New Guinea is a bit rough, but I don't think it is at war. But would you call the civil war if it's not at war? Papua is filled with cannibals. So Papua is filled with cannibals. Really? Don't go there. Uh having my first beer for four weeks dark matter tastes so good oh i haven't had any i'm taking a break i said haiti is overtaken by criminal gas haiti is a civil war haiti is a civil war right basically canada if you want to know what 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 happened with what's going on with haiti haiti was the first place where there was there was a slave uprising and they it was under control of france and when the slaves rose up they killed everything france every french citizen including children right they went medieval on that shit, right so they killed france was occupying haiti with the plantations and all that shit, uh and all that jazz they rose up they killed every 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 french every white person annihilated them even if they were kids right and slowly uh the European powers, France and United States and Canada start fucking around with Haiti, right? And they've been fucking around with it forever, making an example of Haiti, right? Um, Aris, is it Aristide? I forget his name. Uh, the priest that was exiled. Like, Canadian plane, I believe. They did a coup in Haiti. Canadian plane went there, put the president on the plane, and they flew him to Africa. They said, get out, Right? So the reason Haiti, it's got its own internal problems and gangs and stuff like this, right? But the main reason that for the last 20 years has been really fucked with is because France, United States, and Canada are making an example of it. They like the cheap labor, labor and they cannot have a slave uprising, historical, right? And they came out and they said they wanted $1 billion reparation. I think it was $1 billion reparations from france for slavery and france wouldn't have it right so they shot on haiti is peru civil war i think peru's civil war to a certain degree okay peru's in teeter-tottering right now i'm i'm leaving it should we put a put a yellow on it um i'm sort of on the sidelines with peru it could be it could turn stable but it's on a civil right could turn stable, but it's on a civil, right? Jayupa. If I could see the city called Jayupa. Yeah, I couldn't. See. Right now, I can't. Jayupa. Where is Jayupa? No, I think we got it. We got it marked, though. I think we got it marked, though. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, Chile, Peru and Chile. What do we say? Blue or yellow? Blue or yellow? What do you think, Joe? A lot of tribes in Papua New Guinea delve in cannibalism. Really, it's pretty normal. So I hear. Really, damn. Smith, can we not say Vatican City with with all their kitty loving priests is a terrorist nation at war with the world? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. But so is London, uh, so is Monaco, so is Washington DC, right? Papua is the Christian region of Indonesia, really? Lechestein and Andorra. I don't know. Yellow works. for uh, Yellow for Peru and Chile? Sure. Should Chile be blue? Possibly, but there's serious civil unrest in Chile. 
right? There's two factions in Chile. The, the old school money uh, with Pinochet, right? And the poor, right? Mark them all, mark them all. Peru yellow, Peru, Peru yellow, yellow, okay. Peru yellow. What about Chile? What about Chile? Let's do chili. Let's decide on chili for the last one and then we end the stream and let's come back to this. I like this. Do you guys like this? Should we continue this? Tanzania has internal terrorism. Tanzania, Tanzania, Tanzania. I think personally, all the countries surrounding Lake Victoria should be yellow. Watch the documentary called Darwin's Nightmare. Okay. Void. Boy, that we're doing. We're about to end it. Cambodia. What about Cambodia? We put Cambodia as blue, I believe. I think we put Cambodia as blue. Yes, yeah, should definitely continue. We should continue. We should continue. We should continue. Okay, we decide on Chile later. Gang, sorry, I meant. Col oh, Colombia, uh, Colombia. It slowly start to make peace with Venezuela, right? And shifting a little bit to the left, but I hope it doesn't go as left as Brazil because Brazil's fucking fanatic with Lula. I used to like Lula. He's garbage now. I used to hate Bolsonaro. I like Bolsonaro now. I don't like him, but he's way better choice for Brazil than Lula. What's Colombia going to do? Right? What's Colombia going? Map plus word lyrics. Yeah. I don't think we can do streams next weekend, gang. I won't be able to do streams next weekend. So we're talking two weeks. It's going to be two weeks. Uh, I should have said that as well. Tartaristan Smith. Uh, so, by the way, gang, no stream next week. Uh, next weekend. Uh, it's going to be two weeks. I know, I know. It's got to be two weeks. I'll d yeah, I won't be able to do a stream during the week, uh, this week. Uh, my apologies, my apologies. I'm not sure about Ecuador. Yeah, it's like all of South America right now is doing a shift, right? It's like, how's it going to go? How's it going to play out? Bhutan, Bhutan, we got blue. Bhutan, we got blue. Bhutan is blue. Bhutan is is a monarchy and pretty peaceful, from what I understand. Uh, Paul, Paul, Colombia was really dangerous still in the countryside when I lived there seven years ago. Really, yeah, I've heard some uh, crazy stuff. About. Supposedly, I met a guy when I was traveling in Germany. Uh, not Germany. When I was traveling in Cuba in the nineties, I met a German guy. And Germans are notorious for traveling. Uh, all over the place, right? Uh, and he said, Cayo Largo, uh, Cuba, with beautiful beaches, right? He said, the only place he's been to which has better beaches than Havana and then Cayo Largo, Cuba, was an island off the coast of, I forget what island, what the name of the island was, off the coast of Colombia. Okay. Bangladesh, I don't know, Joe. We got to come back to this two weeks from now. We come back to this two weeks from now. Cholula lives off the coast of Massachusetts. Smith, hilarious. Gang, let's call the stream. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy the stream worked with the new setup. I would have been very disappointed if we weren't able to stream today i love working on this map i love looking at this map and i love doing these streams my apologies again for for last night technical difficulties um glap 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 glapicus islands where are you galapagos where are they
wait a second, isn't Galapagos here? Or no, this is Easter Island here. <laughs> this is Easter Island, not wherever I can find it. Easter Island. There's Easter Island. Right? I'm, I'm confusing Easter Island with Galapagos. Um, Gray Stream. Are those the islands near Colombia? I, I don't know. I don't know what the name of the island was. He said it was an island on, on, off the coast of Colombia, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, my partner's been to Easter Island. My partner's my partner's been there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Gang, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for the conversation. Thank you for sharing information. If you wonder what this work is about, I'm on Patreon, patreoncom chicho We're also on Substack and we're on Subscribe Star. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack and on twitch gang thank you very much for the support thank you for being here thank you for the conversations loving it loving it loving it and learning a lot learning a lot and this is what it's all about this is what it's all about and gang salute to the mods salute to the mods mods thank you for taking care of business and having our backs and being here no way we could do it without you guys so appreciate a lot both the mods uh, that we have on twitch and on gilded right which is our server that uh, you can join uh, share information continue our discussions uh, have some fun serious or chill right we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on twitter minds vk gab parlor um, getter and uh da, 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 and something else gap and gap okay so you're definitely welcome to follow us on those platforms for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this live stream this full live stream to sensor tube to bit shoot to rumble and to odyssey to all four video sharing platforms and i'll see if i can take out segments and upload those as well so it's going to take a couple of weeks to filter through the stuff we still have to filter upload the jfk readings as well so i'm behind the times a little bit getting getting uh trying to catch up so uh not streaming next week uh, next weekend uh, hopefully it'll give me time to catch up a little bit and take care of business and i have some family members matters then I have to take care of as well. So I might go silent for a couple of days. But we'll see. We'll see where this all goes. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic week. Fantastic next couple of weeks. I'll see you guys in Gilded if you're there. And uh, we'll continue our conversations. Bye, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic uh, Sunday evening, Monday morning. Bye, everyone.